Hello and welcome to the Buying King Stock Market Q&A live stream. I answer questions exclusively asked by my Discord members. So if you have a question for me and you'd like to get it answered in a video, please join my Discord. The link is in the video description below. Can you take a look at PLNHF? Yeah, I'll take a look at it. If this is a penny stock though, I can't. Oh, this is Planet Fin or Planet 13. I've seen a uh, financial education talk about this before. I've never actually like researched it or whatever. But yeah, this is a company. Clearly, it's a penny stock. Three dollars fifty eight cents a share is what it trades at. Got a market cap of about half a billion dollars, and they're losing money. Doesn't surprise me. They're in the marijuana industry. It's not at full scale right now. Earnings they've been drastically disappointing. Well. They've been estimated to just like break even and they've been losing money. Uh, this past quarter, however, <laughs> analysts finally were like, fine, we'll lower our estimate to negative a penny. <laughs> and uh, they hit that, so that's good. As we can see though, revenues have just been crazy good. Look at this, just the growth has been awesome. Uh, in 2019, they made $63 million in revenue and their market cap is around 500 million giving them a actually a price to sales ratio of less than a 10 so it's not horrible uh, compared to some other hype stocks out there so that's good and then we can also take a look at the balance sheet just for the heck of it but as you guys can see right here in the income statement from 2018 through 2020 they've about almost tripled their sales uh, now again 2020 isn't over this is trailing 12 months but still that's a that's a great growth rate right there and how about losses okay so from 2018 to 2019 they've actually lowered their losses which is good and uh, they're about neck and neck 2020 with 2019 in terms of losses so that's not horrible uh, especially for a growth stock that usually bleeds money over time total cash on hand this company's got 12.8 million dollars and then total assets of about $63 million right there. Total liabilities. So they do have a good asset to debt ratio of a 3x. They're sitting pretty right there financially. And the bank account, they've got enough money to, to pay off some debts, do whatever they need to do, and still have lots of money left over. So that's beautiful on their end. I don't know too much about this, uh, their industry. But the marijuana industry i know that it is niche still so even if it was legalized nationwide you'd still need people that are okay with uh wanting to to do marijuana uh just you know uh, not everybody wants to drink beer and also there's an age limit on it so it's not like a kids can go out and and buy this stuff so those are my thoughts on planet 13 they've got their bank account in order their sales are increasing crazy good uh, just really good so let's actually see 63 minus 21 we're going to see what rate they're growing at 63 minus 21 equals and then divide this by 21 equals so from 2018 through 2019 sales increased by 200 percent which is crazy and if they if they do the same thing next year we'll see uh so 63 times three because they're going to triple supposedly um that's sales of 189 million dollars that's pretty pretty wacky so 189 and we'll do the price to sales ratio on that so market cap of 500 billion and we divide that by the amount of sales that they're projected to have this year if all goes well we'll see and you're looking at a price to sales ratio of a 2.6 so that's actually pretty good. I don't know anything about this industry, so I'm gonna stay away from it. Um, but if you guys do more research on it, then maybe this isn't such a terrible investment. Again, I'm not advising anybody to buy or sell this stock because I don't give out financial advice, but those are my two cents on Planet 13. Oh, and also, um, I mentioned in the Discord, but I bought more shares of Arkimoto today, ticker symbol FUV. They're now at a market cap of below $200 million. And like I've told you guys, I have my reasons for why I think that this is a company that can produce $1 billion in sales by 2022 
or a year or two after that, um, they believe that they can produce, that they can start delivering 50,000 vehicles a year by 2022. And if they do that, the price of the FUV is $19,000 right now. So that would be sales of about a billion dollars in one year. And if we do a price to sales ratio of a five on that, a conservative five because it's a growth company, it's, you rarely ever see a, a price to sales ratio that low on a growth company. Uh, then that would give them a market cap of $5 billion and look at them. They're not even at 200 million right now. Um, so th this is a company that can potentially uh, more than 25 X in their market cap. As far as the stock price go, it's hard to tell because of course there'll be dilution with more fundraising as they go down the line, as they're raising money to uh, expand operations and things like that. But I'm happy with my purchase. I bought 30 shares of Arkimoto at $6 a share. I'm not suggesting anyone else do the same thing um, because I don't tell people what to buy and what to sell. I'm just letting you guys know what I did today. So I'm happy with those. What competition does FUV have? So really it's, I don't see them as a, um, as a competition amongst vehicle manufacturers and I'm not that experienced in, in that industry anyway. But pretty much any other player that can have a product that is also a fun utility vehicle. Now what that means is if we go to Arkimoto.com. So they offer the FUV, the fun utility vehicle. And it's a small vehicle. It's very compact. Three of these fit in one parking space. They're fun to drive. They're super nimble. And they're great for utility uses. So if you just need to... Um, if someone says, hey man, I need a hammer, can you please run back to the house and grab me a hammer? You zip on over in this little thing, it reaches top speeds of 75 miles an hour. You got range of 100 miles on the FUV. And uh, it's just like, so what other product out there is there besides like drones in the future where you can uh, really maneuver quickly, carry stuff in the back, as you guys can see here, this is the deliverator and that's the rapid responder. Uh, so get to emergencies quickly for EMTs, uh, who knows, maybe even police stations utilize these, but also a company like Amazon or grocery stores where they can deliver food uh, quickly to people's houses, maneuvering through alleys, maneuvering through neighborhoods without taking up a big space like a van or like a truck would. So it's used, the deliverator is mainly used for last mile delivery. So they're not gonna, you're not going to be seeing them on interstates delivering things. They're going to be once the big trucks dump off the packages at the post office or at the UPS store or wherever. And then they'll be distributed from there using FUVs. Uh, that's just kind of my vision for it. And I don't know. I, I really like the product. And there's pre-orders in place. They're making sales. They're finally starting to deliver. So all they have to do is lower their costs and increase their um, production, which Sandy Monroe is helping them do right now. And from there on out, then this thing just, just grows, but they've got the 4,000 pre-orders in place right now. And once people start seeing these on the, on the road, I believe uh, sales will increase drastically. I like the idea of a FUV as a tourist vehicle. Absolutely. And I think they'd be great if there was like a rental store right next to colleges, man, because I could see college students utilizing this vehicle all day. Like you get in here, buddy gets in the back, you guys drive to the college football game or you guys go to a party or just drive to Target or Walmart or whatever. Because college kids love to go out and, you know, it's just like, it's so bulky to drive around in a car in a college town. So having something like a golf cart, college kids would love this. So hopefully FUV gets that idea as well. I just saw they go up to 16. Those are sweet. They actually go up to 75 miles an hour. Thank you for watching the Bind King Q&A stock market live stream. I answer questions exclusively asked by my Discord members. So if you have a question for me and you'd like to get it answered in a video, please join my Discord group. The link is in the video description below. Thank you.